If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Oh, it started? Hey everyone, T1 Glistener Elf here, along with T1 Stoneforge Mystic. She's going to be playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2 while I play a game of Vintage. Oh yeah, you can hit the button. There you go. To do the button again. Alright, so this is my deck. I'm running good old Blazing Infect. It is uh, just the same deck you saw last time. It's the same deck that's been doing pretty well with, for me. It's Blighted Agent, Progenitus, Blightsteel Colossus as my creatures. That's the obvious tanker target. Lots of shenanigans here, lots of tutors. We are going for Blazing Shoal. I don't know why the formatting's so messed up on this MTGO or MTG Goldfish list. Uh, and then we pitch Progenitus, or we have one uh, crazy card, one off the wall one. We have Blasphemous Act. Uh, and then my opponent is on Sylvan Outcome. So, of course, it's going to be Paradoxical Outcome. Of course. The spice here is that it's running two Sylvan libraries. Oh, you have to press it. Uh, Ready? What do you now you that? can press it. Now you can press it. It'll start. No, it started the game for you. There you go. Okay, so she's going to be playing Sonic. Um, let's see. And uh, the usual, so only one Monastery Mentor, one Snapcaster Mage. Paradoxical into uh, Time Vault Voltaic Key is one of the win cons. Uh, Mentor is a win con. And uh, Snapcaster is a win con. And if you have infinite turns, you can do all of that. Oh, you can you can walk Sonic. Yeah, you can move Sonic now. Just make sure to get your rings. All right, and so I am. My nose is so itchy. We have our coffee. We have our fox. Oh, <laughs> that's okay, Evangeline. It happens. All right. So uh, it looks like I will. Oh, waiting to select a deck. Uh, my opponent um is. I'll say ready for you. My opponent has not picked the deck out just yet. We're getting there. I assume my opponent was waiting on me knowing that I was recording an intro, so... Yeah, oops. That's my bad. That's my bad. In the meantime, uh, T1 Stoneforge Mystic is, uh... Having a... Oh, just do like Tails. Do your spin dash. You hold down and press A. Uh, good. And then you let go. Perfect! You even landed on the rings. Good job. Oh my goodness. Alright, so Exile will Bonk. be going first. Bonk. <laughs> and they even bonked a bumblebee. You sure I did. Oh my goodness, why is my nose so itchy? Alright, so we have, uh, almost we have Lethal in hand. We have Ink Moth Nexus, we have Blazing Hi, Shoal. Pesta yeah, day. we have a Cantrip. Now, if we had not Blazing Shoal but Progenitus, the Show and Tell might do something. That's actually a really decent card in the matchup, um, yeah. Show and Tell. But, alas, uh, alright, so I'll keep, I will keep as well. Keep. Now, we are not on the London Mall for this, not that it mattered here, we're both keeping. Yes? Oh, you have to spin dash again. Alright, spin dash, uh, there's a bumper on, over on the left, too. Alright, so that's good. It doesn't help. Oh, you got it, you made it. It didn't help two times, it didn't. Let's see, so my opponent's fetching Misty Rainforest into... Uh... Presumably, what, an underground sea? Oh, it could be a trop. Okay, we have a trop into a cantrip. A top. Okay, okay, that's fair. I will draw my card. Oh, okay, okay. Now, if we had anything to spend that black lotus on, we'd be in great shape. But we don't. Okay, so devil's advocate here. We could play black lotus, pop it for blue, preordain, and... No, that's that's cute. The idea here is basically we would like to play Ink Moth. Yes. Um, oh, spin dash again. Hold down. There you go. You got it. Now let go. You got it. See, there you go. All right. Why Plague Stinger over your namesake card, Glistener Elf? Uh, no stingers anymore. All right. So. If I play Black Lotus, I can do blue. I would like to be able to do Ink Moth and Preordain so that I could go for the turn two kill. That's basically what I'm what I'm on about. Um, what I would like to do. And maybe that's wrong, but when you have this much mana, honestly, it, it might be okay to go for it. So I'm going to try it. We're going to go Black Lotus. I'm going to say blue, blue, blue. 
Okay, it go back. It went back? Oh, there you go. But then it go here again. Oh, not go, remember. It went here. It went. There you go. I'm being yeah. a stickler about that sort of thing because she is four years old now. Me, me, me. <laughs> okay, all right. So we're going to look at the top two cards. Uh, I said, look at, there we go. See what we have? Okay, we have Tinker. Oh, okay. So we have Tinker Brainstorm. Um, oh, it's okay, Evangeline. You, it's okay. We'll set this on the bottom of the deck. Like, You're at the checkpoint. You're at the checkpoint, Evangeline. Okay, so we're on a different plan, folks. We're on a completely different plan. We'll draw a card. We will go for... Uh, Jet <laughs> Pearl. We're going to do all the things here. We're going to do all the things. Uh, we will use the Pearl. Sack the Pearl. No, not that one. Not that one. Oop. Other one. Tinker. And uh, discard Pearl. Sack Pearl. All right, let's see if they have it. Do they have it? Alert response. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This may not be the worst thing in the world. Force of will, pitch. All right, that's fine. All right. And then we'll pass the turn. We're doing well, Evangeline. That means that we, we can either hit Progenitus, Blasphemous Act, and win the game next turn, because presumably they used up their counter magic. Uh, oh, do you need some help? Okay. Oh, you, t you move okay. right. Just move right, Evangeline, just like that. And you can jump if you need to. All right. So we have uh, top spinning. It. Yep, top spinning. It. Oh, just move right. That's how we play this game. We move right in Sonic. You know this. You've played this game before. In fact, you were doing it just a moment ago pretty well. Move right. <laughs> there you go. Keep going. Yep, when in doubt, just keep going right. All right. Now hold down. Oh, uh, once you face right. You have to face right before you do that. Good. Now hold down and press A a bunch. There you go. We got there. We got there, folks. Hey, my opponent's resolving a sensei's divining top activation. Uh, this might take a sec. Oh, it's okay. Keep going right. And when you get near the end, you may jump to try to get over the... Oh. Oh, I love how she does this real life... Like, when she moves the controller to the right, the control stick, she moves the controller to the right as well. But she moves the... yeah. There you go, you got over it. See? You're proud of yourself. Oh, oh we'll grab our rings. Look out! Oh, good, good, good. Alright. <laughs> There's an island we're seeing. Shoutouts to old school islands. Has passed turn to me. Okay, so I will draw my card. I was hoping it'd be something else, but that's okay. We'll make it work, I guess. Mm -hmm. I got past those bees. You it's sure did. Bees. Bonk. I bonked a robot fish. Okay, combat? You sure did. You sure did. I'm proud of myself for doing that. <laughs> you are. <laughs> uh, how do we do this again? You have to spin dash. Hold down and do a good long... Oh, oh. <laughs> Uh -oh. A good long spin dash. Uh -oh. You're going to yank that controller out if you're not careful. Here, let me turn you a bit towards the TV. Let me turn you towards it so that there's less of a reach. All right. You can do it. You just have to hold down. There you go. You got it! See? It's not just enough to do the spin dash, you have to also move right when you do the spin dash. So that you land on the platform. There's a mana crypt. Uh oh, folks, this is looking really scary. They are... Now granted, they pitched a paradoxical. But, that might mean they have paradoxical in hand. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll say, uh, that's good. Crypt is good. Alright, passing back to my turn. Gonna do this on upkeep. Try to do some deck venting. Oh, you have to press the start button to unpause it. I wasn't to press the start button. Well, it doesn't go unless you press the start button to unpause it. There you go, just like that. I like a different game. 
Well, if you don't mind, I am in the middle of this, so I can't really do that right now. Okay, let's see. Hmm. We're going to say animate. Go to combat. And now we're just in top deck mode. And I got pistols. That's a good thing. Yeah, that's a very good thing. We almost had the turn one blight steel. Almost. Not there? Uh-oh. I feel an outcome coming. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. It's a dig through time. You're good. You can... All right, down. Almost. I think you accidentally tilted it just a little bit to the right. All right. Then we hold down. Good. Press A. And right. Once you're in the air from your spin dash, you have to turn right as well. It's okay. It's okay. Just practice. Do it again, please. Good. I'm watching you. And A. While you're holding down. A. Down. No, A. Good. No, right. There you go. <laughs> I love seeing the real life shift over to the right. She does that when she plays Smash Bros. as well. It's exactly as adorable as it sounds. Good. And I mm -hmm. have to do the same thing with this. Okay. Go right a little bit. Mm -hmm. And press down. Folks, ah. it's not looking good for T1 Glistener Elf over here. Ugh. It's okay. You keep trying. Ooh. Well, unfortunately, that's a, that's a big K for me. Ooh. Oh, you're doing it. Yay, I oh, got up. Careful, don't pull it too far, please. I'm going to scoot you more this way so that you don't accidentally yank the console down. She's Because she's doing the real-life DI, you don't have to move your arms in order to move the control stick right. Because of that, it's pulling it far enough that it's getting kind of scary as to whether or not she's going to knock it over. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no. All right, so recall has resolved, which means we're probably, no matter what, we're probably not resolving this blazing shell. Unless my opponent gives me yet another turn, and I find force of will, oh wait. Uh, well, oh, oh, okay, my uh, opponent, no, you're fine, you're fine. All right, remember, you'll have to jump over the front. Jump, <gasps> you did it! Okay, look out, he's coming from behind you. Oh, if you can, try not to get too close to the edge of the screen. Here he comes. Good. All right, here he comes. He's coming on the right. Oh, good. All right. Colorless floating. Storm two. Uh-oh. Oh, grab your ring. There, you got it. Look out. Oh, Tails got you. Tails got it. All right, now you don't have any rings. Uh-oh. All right. Almost. Move left, move left, left, left. That's why. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. You did. The problem with getting too close to the edge of the screen, Evangeline, is that when you're too close to the edge, it can make that happen, unfortunately. It's okay. You did You did pretty well. You can try again. If you wouldn't mind, I can't really... Well, you can come over and play with me. Would you like to watch me? Okay. Let me see. How do I get this thing to... I know, I know what I can do. I can do this. All right, now, would you come over here, please? All right, that does make it a little bit easier on me to focus. Not that I think it's made any difference in this game, <laughs> but nevertheless. All right. Alternatively, I could have used the fetch land there, but in the event that I find like a ponder or, well, Brainstorm is on the bottom of the deck, so. Well, no, it's not because I fetched. Um, hmm. You know, I don't actually know how this works on untap. I think when I resolve the fetch, it shuffles for me automatically after I use the find card function. Aha! There's a Tolarian Academy. Evangeline, um, I may have about the same success in this as you did there. But, good news, that's the furthest that you've gotten in that game. You were one hit away from beating Robotic. One more hit. Alright, so my opponent's playing top alert, uh, alerting response, so they're gonna do a uh, Voltaic Key to 
untap it, then tap it again. So they're going to put it, draw a card, then put it on top of their deck, then draw a card and put the non-existent top on top of their deck. Basically, they're going to draw the top back, so the top will be in their hand. It's, it's, it works. It works. <laughs> Is that them side? That's their side. Remember, it's their side. Side? Yeah. Is this our side? We're on the bottom. And we're probably not winning this game, unfortunately. Probably not. Colorless blue, blue floating. Okay. Interesting. Um, they didn't play the colorless to get the top out to make Tolarian Academy tap for blue, blue, blue. Right? Or am I missing something? Yeah, that would have been blue, blue, blue. Alright. So I'm going to say that that's okay. Now hopefully this is it for now. <laughs> As if this isn't great. Okay, yeah, Storm went back to zero, so they're on their next turn. Uh, Crypt MC. Um, yeah, so we did, we did pass the Mana Crypt there. Uh, admittedly, I, being distracted... Oh, Mana Crypt. Mana Crypt. Why did they get it in the wine? Okay, there we go. Tails. Alright. Why did they choose Tails? Oh, they they did. They have a coin that they flipped, and uh, heads or tails determines whether they take damage. Plus, I, I'm being maybe a little bit vigilant about it now, because I may have lost... May, maybe not, lost a top eight of the last season in uh, quarterfinals because I missed my opponent's mana crypt. Yeah? You missed that card turn over. Okay. It goes away. It went away? Yeah, it went away. It went. Yeah, we remember to say it went away. You got it. Oh, yep, that's game. <laughs> Alright. GG game two. Now, in a normal game, I would let my opponent play it out so I can see the, the way that the rest of the deck works, but in this game, I have my opponent's deck list. I don't need to do that. <laughs> so we're going to go to our next game, scoop it up, and go to our sideboard. Now, we have a few cards we can bring in. Damping Sphere is an easy one to come in. Flusterstorm is an easy one to come in. Hercules Recall probably comes in. Null Rod comes in. Actually, let's, let's stick the Recall back in here for now and we'll decide what's coming out first. So, what's coming out? Well, Blasphemous Act actually, in addition to being workable with Mystical Tutor, actually does something with uh, Monastery Mentor. If my opponent gives me gives enough of them, then with red mana, like a Mox Ruby or a Black Lotus, in the rare chance that matters, I'll be able to, to activate that. Now, when Mentor was at four, I had one Volcanic Island for that reason. Fatal Push does not do enough in this matchup, so that's coming out. Uh, what else? This is interesting. Mental Misstep is a card. It's a real card in this, so I would like to keep that. Um, Are you going all the way to the bottom? Uh, yes, I went all the way to the bottom because I'm looking to see what I maybe should put in or take out. Now, hmm, this is, this is tricky, Evangeline. This is a tricky choice. Uh, maybe the brown one? Yeah, my, my inclination might be to go and take out Blasphemous Act Mystical Tutor. Um, if I'm taking out Fatal Push, I can take out Mystical Tutor. It has less utility here anyway. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take out Mystical Tutor as well. A little further down. Mystical Tutor. There we are. Now, I could take out Hercules Recall. Hercules Recall, in response to a paradoxical outcome, is a real thing. It is something you can do. I already have one in the deck that I can tutor for, plus I just added Null Rod in, plus I have other cards that do more, so I'm gonna try it this way and see how that works. What's worth getting rid of from Arabian Nights? I love explaining this to my opponent. Bazaar of Baghdad, which I always worry about spelling incorrectly. So, City in a Bottle is a card I have on my sideboard that says something to the effect of all non-token, all other non-token permanents from Arabian Nights get, uh, get removed. 
uh, get sacrificed and cannot be played as long as this card is out. It's kind of dumb. It's kind of silly. Alright, so we're going to uh, shuffle up again. Do you have a big a grown up face? Because I'm a grown up. That's why I have a grown up face. Also, I let my beard grow out. So when I have a, my beard out, it makes me look a little old. Aww. Thank you. I like it when you do that. I really do. Aww. Mwah. Thank you, honey bunny boots. Honey bunny boots. Aww. Okay. You're so sweet. So what we're going to try to do... <laughs> this hand is keepable. We're going to play a turn one C into ponder. Or, yes, yeah, C. Well, we could save the C for next turn so that I can fetch. I don't think I, ha I need... Yeah, okay, that's what we're going to do so that we can hold up Flusterstorm. I'll say keep. My opponent might be doing the correct thing and waiting for me to keep first. I'm going to... Oops, sorry. Do a sneak in here. It's not really much of a sneak when you tell your people you're doing it. And I'm going to put my hair... Do you want me to keep my hair back? Or keep my hair down? Or may I put it up, please? Down. Down? Okay. But never mind. She does like playing with my hair. Alright, so my opponent said they'll keep. So I'm going to go underground C. And we're actually going to pass. This, is, this allows me to hold up Flusterstorm. And on my next turn, I can do ponder you know, hold up the fetch land, and still hold up Flusterstorm. So this is the slower but more cautious play. What I would like to do is, if I could find a Mox, I can go turn three, um, I can go turn three, uh, Tinker. They choose or, the diamond? Yeah, oh, that's a Sapphire. The blue one is a Sapphire, Evangeline. That's what those blue ones are called. Diamonds are clear, I think. Alright, there we go. No response. I'm going to let my opponent resolve that. I hear we have a turn. Oh, we did have a turn. It's just my turn was very, very short. Woo! My opponent is doing some shenanigans. Oh, boy. Nice. Alright, so my opponent is getting some good cards out. This is, uh, this is quite the turn. This Flusterstorm had better do some work. <laughs> Alright, please just go Black Lotus Paradoxical Outcome. Just drew the Lotus. I see Astia. Always sick. Yeah, that's us. Mm-hmm. That is us. I'm kind of hoping that my opponent kind of... Well, I don't hope they beat me, but if they beat me, it's probably okay. Levi oh, I just took out Fatal Push. Oh man, I just took out Fatal Push. That's okay, that's okay. That's not the end of the world. We'll make it. We'll make it work. Um, so I'm going to say thinking. Then I'll give me a chance to play with you for a sec. Hi there, Evangeline. Hi, dear. How are you? Good. Good. Let's I'm play good. Phone. Too. Let's play phone, please. <laughs> Playing this this deck in Storm is amazing. I'm gonna say that resolves. Hi, yeah. Jay. Oh, hi there. Hi there. Intersetting. Intersetting indeed. <laughs> hi there. Hey there. Ooh, how are you? Good. All right, on to my turn. I will draw. Um, so we're going to go. We're going to try to ponder here. Play ponder. See if that resolves. Hey, hey there. Hello. My opponent should let this go. I believe that they... Well, they haven't yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're going to look at the top three cards of our deck. Look at top three. Let's see. We don't particularly like any of those, so I will shuffle and then draw a card. I've won every match in Vintage. Hey, this is your first season. Oh, due to Lavinia. Okay. Yeah, she's a card. She's a card, all right. I'm not a card. Oh, not you, Lavinia. This, this girl right here, she is a very strong card in this. 
She's not too strong on her own, but she keeps the opponent from doing things that they would like to do. That's why she's so strong. And the card? The card is very strong, yes. So we're going to probably, I believe I'm supposed to hold this up. So that next turn I can go Damping Sphere and still have Flusterstorm, potentially. Um, yeah, I believe that's correct. So we're going to pass the turn. Pass the turn! Yep. Now, my opponent is going to deal me some damage, and that's not going to be particularly pleasant, unfortunately. Lavinia is a card, and I did slide out Fatal Push. And in to be fair, in my defense, Lavinia is a two of. So I probably should have kept it in, but with Lavinia as a two of, uh, yeah, I still should have kept it in. Honestly, I still should have. Yeah, it's tricky finding something to take out. What what else might I have taken out? I don't, I don't actually know. Uh, this does leave my opponent with basically, other than the outcome, time vault voltaic shenanigans, uh, four creatures with which to beat me down. And to be fair, this is one of them. It's a ten turn clock, but. This is one of them. So now my opponent is still in main phase one. No, okay. It's fine. All right. White, white, white. Ooh, we have stuff. Stuff is happening. Okay, so there's a... Oh, uh-oh. What happened? Mentor. Oh, now I can't counter Mentor with Flusterstorm. Oh, okay, I see what's happening. I see what's happening. They didn't mean to... <laughs> yeah, they didn't mean to do that. Okay. No response. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a big problem. There's our token. There's our counter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're breathing on me. Oh, so I am breathing on you. I was laughing. My opponent is, uh, technically speaking, beating me. <laughs> hey! Yeah, they're beating me. But we don't even need to bother with the prowess triggers. Not this turn. Bye-bye, buggy. There's another... Oh, God. Bye-bye, <laughs> mm. buggy? Yep. Okay, so that's presumably Mock Sapphire Repeal. And then we play the Sapphire back. Hi! Hi! Welcome to the end of T1 Glistener Elf and T1 Stoneforge Mystic, because we're about to get 2 would in this league. Um, I be about to win. Yeah. I can't even win with a... Um, if I draw a Mox off the top to Tinker, because... Oh, Time Walk. Ooh, okay. I'm laying down, by the way. You are. Now this Flusterstorm gets fired off. Um, it might should have been on the repeal, but... Oh, goodness great. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me, please, honey bunny. <laughs> All right. How are we going to how are we going to survive this? We don't, but we're gonna pretend we can. Oh, not now, bud. Not now. Now is not when I want to see you. I do not want to see you now. All right. So, um, things I can do here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirteen, eighteen. I'm at eighteen. So if my opponent can cast two spells, then I lose the game. I mean, I'm going to lose anyway, but... <laughs> I can't. I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best, Evangeline. No promises, though. No promises. So we're going to go... Why do you always say no promises? Because uh, my opponent's probably... I mean, you, you never know. I might pull something out. They might miss combat somehow. <laughs> I will right, we'll see if this Preordain works. And I have to do Preordain first before Damping Sphere, of course, because of the Damping Sphere attacks. Alright, so we're going to look at the top two cards. <laughs> Don't worry, Evangeline, we're just about done. <laughs> we're just about done. This is not going well for me. Uh, you know what? I'll just bottom both of those, actually. What does get me out of this? Nothing, right? Nothing gets me out of this. Let me look at my deck again. Hmm, yeah, no, even if I keep the Vampiric Tutor to use on the next turn, I can't do that and Tinker on the next turn because of Damping Sphere. So it doesn't matter what this is. I'm going to say... Okay, so is there any reason to shove... 
Obviously, vampiric to the tutor is down. Is there any reason to shove? Let's see, the ink moth nexus, because I don't want to be. Okay, so I could find like a time walk. That'd be okay. I could live with time walk. Okay, so we're gonna shove both of these. One of the weaknesses to doing this, though, is that I could accidentally bump myself into a Blightsteel Colossus. And that's not good. That would not be great. So we're going to draw a card. There's a pr- Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! This would be lethal! <laughs> Alright, well, okay. <laughs> I did breathe on you. I'm going to uh, show my opponent afterwards. Not yet. I'm going to wait. Oh, sh yeah, okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, that was a top deck. Um, because of this, I... Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that for three mana? Oh, no! Alright, balance that back to hand. We're going to reveal it. As if my opponent doesn't already know. That's, uh, yeah, that's quite the top deck. Alright, so that's one. There's the prowess counter. One more will do it. Any more spells at all. Oh, wait, crap. Wait, never mind then. I thought my opponent was tar targeting... Okay, never mind. One floating. Yep. And that's game. That's lethal. <laughs> That's a sapphire. It's a sapphire. That one is called Mock Sapphire, and it's a very expensive card. So I just showed my opponent that I had the combo kill in hand, but with Lavinia, I couldn't use it. GG. You got me. 2-0, no less. <laughs> Swing 18. Yeah, that was exactly lethal. All right, Evangeline. Well, I did my best, T1 Stoneforge Mystic. Oh, I just realized this whole time you've been down on the floor. They haven't been seeing much of you. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> We're making up for it right now. She's crazy. Yeah. I actually sided out. Uh, Fatal push. That was maybe not the, the smartest decision I've ever made. It's tough to find outs. Oh, hello. <laughs> outs for this matchup. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to take out Force of Will, but, you know. No Rod, Damping Sphere, and Flusterstorm came in. Yeah, so, and mm, so n if I had to only slide in one card and take out one card, Fatal Push and Null Rod would have been it. Uh, so the fact that I saw Damping Sphere does not mean that I would have seen Fatal Push had I not sided in Damping Sphere. Um, no losing streak because Lavinia continues. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong, bud. All right. Well. Thanks for jamming, teammate. Oh, this is also my teammate, so I may have conceded anyway, even if I had won, because his points in the, the team league that they do here are higher than mine because he's been playing in more leagues and is a good player. So <laughs> I uh, I probably would have anyway, but it, I'm glad that he won naturally so that I don't have to be like battling with myself over whether I would have or not. Now he just straight up won. <laughs> Plus, he just came out of the Frontier Top 8. Uh, he just won his quarterfinal match, so that's good, too. All right, and has left the game. All right, well, that's it. Take care, Magic Community. We will see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm okay with keeping this going. This is cute. All right, thank you. Thank you very much.
This is my hand. These are our hands. We have a big hand now because we have extra fingers. Extra fingers in our big hand. <laughs> ah, she's controlling me. All right.